I'd like to introduce you to Logue. Logue is a dog guide in training for the Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides in Oakville. She is a standard poodle, but right now she's only 12 weeks old. Her name is Logue because Team Logue of Burlington um, sponsored her. Logue is Mary Dilly's 13th foster puppy, and she's been an incredible ambassador for the program. Okay, just a sec, Logue. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Okay, you can say hi to her now. I worked at Dog Guides years ago, 26 years ago, and um, a puppy came in just before Christmas, and there wasn't a foster family, and we were actually closing the doors for Christmas vacation, and I said, I'm taking that dog home, and that's, that's the start. Foster families are an essential part of the Dog Guide program. Because you can't really train a dog to do what they're going to do until they're at least a year old. They have to be house trained. They have to be, have their manners. They have to go out, they have to know how, they have to know how to go into a store or a movie theater or a restaurant. They have to understand how to behave when they're out in public. So you can take your own dog into a restaurant, but your dog's not gonna know that it goes under the table and it waits patiently until it's time to leave. So it's just, it's just getting them used to what their life is gonna be. And what a great life they're gonna have. You know, most people go off to work in the day and their dog's sitting at home all day waiting for them. These dogs get to go everywhere. So it's a really, it's a great life for these dogs. And Mary has a constant companion. The first time I met her, we were at a conference before when we actually had people in a big space together. <laughs> and she had this dog sitting next to her and I couldn't help but question her about it and ask her, you know, how did she commit to this? Because the level of commitment you're providing and training this animal is, is intense. But I did think she was a little bit, wow, holy smokes, how are you doing this? <laughs> to be sitting live in a conference when I needed her to speak with a dog. It's, it's a lot of work. It's, um, everyone is, is so lovely and everyone wants to talk to you about, about their dog or your dog. And, and it's really sweet. And I know a lot of people in Burlington because, of, because I'm out there with a dog, um, but sometimes I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and, when the, and when the dogs have an accident in the store, that's always fun. And I gotta say thank you to the stores in, in Burlington. Boy, if, if I'm out with a dog and it has an accident, they are right there to help me clean it up and everyone is so gracious. I think um, someone like Mary, when you can find someone like that within your local community that's willing to give back at such a ground level, that you want to hang on to them and support them. Yeah, to think that really this dog, this little crazy puppy, is going to be someone's guide um, in life is an outstanding feeling. It's an amazing thing to be a part of a sponsorship for. Come on, sit. There you go. Mary shares this advice for prospective foster families. It's a lot of work. So know what you're getting into, but it's gratifying, it's needed. Um, you know, these dogs can't become service dogs if we don't have foster families. And the people that get these dogs, they have a bond. We know what it's like to love our own dogs, but to have a dog that you depend on to save your life, possibly, um, it's, it's a bond like no other. And I'm honored to be a part of that. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.